Okay, today we're talking about pots. <laughs> what better thing to talk about on a pottery channel than making pots? But I'm going to make some jam pots and some honey pots and garlic pots. They're all basically the same pot. They're just all different. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the jam pot. And it's, uh, this is about 600 grams of clay. Now I like to throw the lid on the top and then the bottom on the, on the rest of the clay. And so when I'm throwing pots, I would make this lid fit the pot I threw before, but I didn't throw one before. So I always throw an extra lid when I'm making jam pots, garlic pots, and honey pots. So this is centered. I do have a video in the links below about how to throw off the hump. I did some bowls, check it out. And so this is centered. I'm gonna put a little doorknob on top. Like I did when I was throwing the bowls. It's just smaller and kind of flat. And I'm going to open it up, not like a bowl, but I'm going to open it up from the side, leaving a clay in the middle to throw after I have the size of my lid to throw the knob on the lid. So I'm just, my fingers are just working together, squeezing down, and my thumbs keeping it in check. Now I do like an extra lid, like I said, you never know, lids break, lids crack, lids get lost, lids sometimes even though they measure don't fit, having an extra lid is a good idea. So I got the lid as big as I want it and now I'm going to throw the knob. I'm going to center this piece of clay just like I would any other piece of clay, just little. And instead of using my hands, I'm just going to use my fingertips. And I'm going to end, uh, I'm going to open it up. And I like a knob, kind of like a little bowl on the top. So I put the hole in it and then I'm just going to squeeze it up and open it out into a little bowl. And then light squeeze it, give it some definition. Whoa! Then dry it off. Now when my lids come off, the wheel, they are ready, they're done. I don't trim them after. If I don't have to trim something, bonus. <laughs> so there's the lid and I'm going to take the chamois over it. As I said, when they are done, when I come off the wheel, they are done. And I'll throw a different kind of knob on the next one. You don't have to throw the little bowl thing. I'm going to undercut it here a little bit and I'm also going to undercut and give it a bit of a handle. So when you lift it up, like I'll show you in a minute, you've got something to hang on to and you don't jam your fingertips into the bottom of your lid, which would be messy. Uh, which would be messy. So now I'm jamming my fingertips into the bottom of this lid and I got to put it over here. And it doesn't take long because that's a lot of clay if you're making a lot of lids. I made this a while ago to get that clay off of there and put it back into the work. You just let it firm up a little bit and you get your clay back and you don't waste all that clay. Okay, so I've got the lid made. Actually, that lid is the extra one. So I'm going to throw the jam pot now. I like jam pots to be smaller than garlic pots because I like jam pots. <laughs> Maybe I like garlic more than jam, but anyway, I make a small jam pot and I'm going to open it up just like I open anything else up, pulling the, my finger to my left palm, pulling it up and then going in. And this is just a basic little throw. Make a little round pot. I'll give it one more pull to make it a little more rounder. And then I'm going to just, I left a lot of, when you're throwing a rim, um, galley or a seat for your lid to fit in. You want to make sure you leave enough clay at the top to make the seat for the lid to fit in. So I've got the round, I'm going to cuddle it in with my six point cuddling and open it up. And I'm just spinning it on my finger. Now you see I've got a lot of thickness here. So I can with my fingertip, I'm going to make that slidey. Uh, use a little one. I use my fingernail throwing opposite and it makes a nice little galley or a seat for your lid to sit in. And I'm going to throw it 
control it up a bit. And I like it when these pots are a little bit thicker. They're going to live in the kitchen, and this is going to have the spoon in it. It's going to be in the dishwasher. It's going to go, I don't know, microwave maybe. It's going to be used in the kitchen. And I think these little galleys for the lid should have some, some thickness to them. So there it is, I'm going to cut it off extra here. And again, like the lid, when this comes off the wheel, it's done. I don't put it back on the wheel, I don't trim them. I'll show you in a minute what I do. Ah, that was rude. See, I did that so I could show you the water trick. Yeah, that's the ticket. So a little bit of water in there if it doesn't want to peel. If your pot's not appealing, a little bit of water will make it very appealing. If I can catch it. There we go. So I'm going to use my stick to tidy that up. Some people like to run the rib up the side. I'm kind of, I don't know, indifferent. It does make it smoother. And I'm going to undercut it again. So there we are. We're done. But I want to measure. So now I'm going to measure this lid. And I'm going to take this off. And the next ball I put on, I'm going to throw the lid for this pot. And then I'll throw another pot and measure its lid. And it goes on and on and on. So these are just a half a hanger. Um, it's at my caliper. It works. I like it because you can move them around and they can put them down. They don't lose their shape or their size. So there I've got a measured bit of water. Undercut that and just slide it off and put it over with the rest of the pot. Now I've got this ball of clay. Usually if I'm working, I would make up a whole bunch of these and keep them in plastic. But I'm not, I'm not doing production today, so it was just sitting there waiting for me to go. Okay, so now, so now I'm going to put it on there and I'm going to center it quickly. And now I'm going to throw this doorknob this big to fit on that pot and throw another pot and it's lid later. Throw it the same way to the other one. Leave that in the middle. Now you don't have to throw a bowl knob. I like the little bowl knob because I like the little bowl knob. You're allowed to like what you like. Other people like to throw maybe just a little more of a this shape of a knob. They don't come with rules. You can also put a little bit of definition in that when you're throwing your lid. Something for your glaze to break on when it's fired. So that's a different kind of lid. And now I want to measure to see how close we are to fitting that garlic pot. And it's, it's too big. And it's pretty thick, so I'll bring it back. And see how that fits. So that's about the right size. Now I'm going to tidy it up. And sh take the chamois over it. One thing about pottery is different people like different things. I'm not that keen on that um, handle for that lid, but somebody might like it, so that's cool. And you're allowed to like what you like. I've said that more than once. So I'm going to just cut that off the same way I did before. And can lift it up by digging my fingertips into this part underneath and not into the bottom of my lid. So that's basically it. So now I'm going to make a honey pot. A honey pot is basically a jam pot, just a little bit bigger. And we're just going to open that up. So 
So there we are with the magic of time and cameras and Jim. We have a honey pot. Now I like the honey pot to be a little taller than the jam pot because the stick doesn't fit that well in the short pot. It sticks a little, fits a little bit better in the tall pot. And the little jam spoon fits better in the short pot. So that's why I make different sizes. In the garlic pot you need big enough to put all your clothes in. Now, I'm not going to throw any more pots, but I am going to show you how to finish these. So I'm going to take it off. So if I were producing, I would measure this and I put on another ball of clay and I'd throw a lid, another ball of clay and I'd throw a lid until I didn't want to make any more pots or ran out of uh, little balls of clay. So, but we're not going to do that today. I'm going to take this off and then we're going to stop for a second and I'm going to show you how to put the holes in the lid and the garlic pot. Okay, I'm ready to cut the hole in the lid and I'm gonna, it's, it holds the, for the jam stick to go in or the honey stick to go in and you can use, there's a, a one inch uh, diameter hole punch that is in most studios and actually it's in mine somewhere. <laughs> But I prefer to use this one. This is a, a cookie cutter that I've altered into different shapes. If you use the, the, the hole cutter, it's quite round and it makes a messy edge. So this is just, and so I'm just going to take this edge down and just straight cut it out. Now cut that out and tidy it up and sponge the bottom and sponge the top. And I've got a nice dent to hold the spoon and that goes on my jam pot and it's too soft to do but when it's later I'll show you on the garlic pot. So now when, I, when I'm done, like these pots are ready for the kiln, I will sign them when they're dry and put them in the kiln and they're ready to go. Now the garlic pot I'm not going to cut the lid. If it were a honey pot I would cut the lid the same way I did for the jam pot and just the honey stick fits better. That lid doesn't fit with the darn, but the honey stick does. So that's for the jam pot. And so the garlic pot, I like to use this, uh, just this round tube. I would smooth the edge off with my thumb. Smooth the edge off with my thumb. Sponge it. And then it's ready for signing when it's dry. And then I'm just going to make a mark with this round tube. And then I can, with my hole punch, go around and around and make it tidy. Because I usually would do this kind of stuff at a table. But Jim's here and the cameras are here and the action is here. So I'm working here. Okay, now those are done. It's still kind of soft. I threw it this earlier today. But you see that way I like it. Then you sponge it off, get rid of the messy circle marks so it looks like you, your breather holes are not connected. To sponge it off, sponge the bottom and then it can dry. You put your lid on there that's all that I've got the clay off the bottom and sponge it and it's ready for, ready for drying. When it's dry, I'll sign it and it'll go in the kiln and it will look like this. So there you go. There's the garlic pot. Uh, you saw the jam pot and the honey pot. There's a lot of talk about pots. If you like what I talked about pots, please hit the like button. It's the best way to support me and my channel. If you want to subscribe and see me make more stuff, please hit subscribe. And if you have anything you'd like to say, please mention it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And thanks ever so much for watching.